Are you looking to build a budget PC around 30,000 rupees? If so, you have clicked the right video. In this video, I will help you choose the best PC components that you can buy under 30,000 rupees. And after watching this video, you will get a clear idea of exactly which PC components you should choose if you have a budget of around 35,000 rupees or under $400. You will find links to all the products that I will be talking about in this video in the video description down below. So first and foremost, you will have to choose a good CPU and that's where things get started. And as of now, the best CPU that you can buy at this budget is going to be none other than the Intel Core i3-12100F. This is a 12th generation i3 CPU which has got 4 performance cores and there are no efficiency cores or any hyper threading is there on this. But it sells for just 8000 rupees here in India and I have seen this sell for just 82 dollars on Newegg recently. This is going to be a perfect CPU for budget built like this. Now to house this CPU we need a decently priced B660 or an H610 motherboard. And as we are limited with the budget, I would suggest you to buy a B610 motherboard. And the best motherboard I could find to fit this price range is going to be the MSI Pro H610M-E. This motherboard is going to be just fine for the 12100F because the 12100F is not having a power consumption of over 60 watts. And these VRAMs with no heat sinks over them is not going to be a problem. But if you are looking to make some upgrades in the future, then this board is not going to be good for you because those VRAMs are totally bare exposed. You should be having some VRAM cooling if you want to run hexa-core or uh, octa-core CPUs in the future. So this board is not going to be sufficient if you want to upgrade in the future. Look for a better board than this. I'm going to leave some recommendations for better motherboards down in the video description. So do check it out. Now let's talk about the RAM, which is pretty straightforward these days. RAM is pretty cheap and you can buy any 8 or 16 gigabyte RAM kit for a very good price these days. So I'm not going to talk about RAM in a lot of detail and same goes for the SSD too. You can choose pretty much any M.2 NVMe SSD. It is really cheap these days. Any 240 gigabyte or even 500 gigabyte or even a terabyte of SSD is really cheap. You can choose according to your budget. Now the important thing to talk about is the power supply. Power supply is going to power your entire system. So it is going to be really important to choose a good unit. If you will ask me, I will suggest you to buy a Cooler Master power supply, the MWE450 Bronze V2. This is a really good unit and here in India it sells for just 3000 rupees. I think it is also going to be available for around the same price in US also. So you should look for a power supply that has got a bronze rating and I think you are going to be good with it. This PSU is going to be sufficient for running any GPU that draws anything less than 150 watts. So if you are going to use a 1660 Super or a 1660 Ti, this GPU is going to be more than sufficient for your power requirement needs. So this is a little video that I wanted to do on what's the best you can choose if you have a budget of 30,000 rupees to build a computer here in India or under $400 in US. I don't think you can buy any better PC parts than this at this price range at this time. But if you feel otherwise, you can mention whatever you think in the comment section down below. So this is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you like content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. For any other questions or queries, comment section is down below. Thank you very much for tuning into this video and I will talk to you in the next video.